379. Uh, we're going to be reclaiming the refrigerant from the AC system, and uh, we're going to have another student come out and recharge. The uh, reason that we're doing this, we're taking all the Freon out of the system so we can replace one of the components. Uh, so, uh, the only thing that I've done so far is turned on my machine, connected it using an extension cord. I got the uh, the heads here, I was about to point out the service ports and a few things that you should be doing while you're here. Uh, you're going to look into the service port and make sure that your Schrader valve is not damaged in there. Uh, you can tell, um, here's one of my service ports and here's the other one. Uh, you can tell that they're two different diameters. Uh, the larger side is the high side, it's going to be red. And then the low side is blue. Make sure they're firmly in there. I'm not penetrating the valves. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to push down on our Schrader valves. You should see a change in the pressure on our gauge. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, we've got uh, we've got it hooked up onto our machine right now. Uh, the gauges are showing us what's in the in the in the system at the moment, and all we have to do is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, automatic. Yup. Check the oil drain level, right? So you can come check out on the back side over here. We have uh, this is where our oil reservoir is at. We usually have a, uh, a black O-ring that we'll set down to the different levels so we know how much oil we have to put back into the system. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where it went, but that's how I, typically that's how it should work. Okay, you hit yes, continue, enter vacuum, go for it. Firm leak test, no, we don't need to worry about that. And the charge amount. Okay, so we got it set to the proper charge amount. Continue. Yo, we have a pack oil. We both. And we hit it start. And now we wait 30 minutes and we'll get back to the video after that's done. Okay, so we have the machine uh, vacuuming, uh, evacuating the. the System right now. I wanted to talk briefly on uh, the machine itself and the maintenance on it. Um, you have to make sure that you keep your machine clean. Don't beat up on the gauges too much because you can throw them out of calibration. Uh, make sure that you replace the tank frequently and where I guess as needed if you use the machine a lot. Uh, make sure that the oil gets changed out uh, pretty normally too. And right now while the evacuation process is going on, Good time to take a uh, visual inspection of your uh, system itself. So we notice on the front, you can see the condenser from right here is pretty beat up. You know that's something to note uh, that you know it's, it's probably not cooling as efficiently as it should because it's so damaged. A lot of those fins are, are bent up on it, and uh, there's a lot of corrosion on the side of that condenser. Uh, our problem. Actually, our compressor, our compressor is not engaging, and that's the reason why we're evacuating the system. Um, but I mean, it's a good time to also inspect your belts, make sure that that's looking okay. Check out the uh, the AC lines where they're running from, all the way up, all the way up to the compressor. See their condition. Uh, these hoses actually look in decent condition, at least from what I can see right here. Um, this is all stuff that you could be knocking out while you are waiting on the machine to finish its evacuation process. Um, but yeah, so we're still waiting on the machine. We'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so we're running near the end of our recycle process. Oh, gross! Um, 
And again, the reason that we would do this is to uh, go ahead and run the refrigerant through the filters that are on the uh, AC machine itself. And then we just go through and uh, recharge the system. It'll do a leak test as well. Um, but I mean, that's the basic operation of it. You could hit obviously vacuum to evac the system, charge to charge it. What we did was recycle. Um, and then there's an automatic setting uh, to it. Pretty easy to navigate through. This is an ACX 1180H made by Molly.